Hi guys, okay, Haversack part two. Now we're gonna delve into the parts of it. Okay, I'm using for this a Pathfinder School oil cloth Haversack. Did I pick it for a certain reason? I already had it, to be honest with you. Bobby Moody made a trade with me and I like the material. I've used it for just a grab and go bag many times and I wanted to upgrade it to be a haversack and then turn my haversack into a knapsack like we've talked about. You can get this bag from Self-Reliance Outfitters, Pathfinder School Bunch. You can also get a very similar bag from other sources. Camp Craft makes a very good bag that has a little wider strap than the Pathfinder. And if you like that wider strap, you may want to go that way. Both of them are equally good packs in my opinion. And I interchange other people's gear so don't think I'm just harping on one or the other find the piece of gear that suits you but I have no complaints with either the camp craft or the Pathfinder stuff okay now I took this haversack and I added the flap we're about to go into that I also made the other little modifications now this bag at this time weighs about I weighted it a little less than four pounds which is where I want it I want it to be a grab-and-go bag okay I don't want a lot of weight, I just need what I need, and I tuck it back here behind my knife. Turn that down a little so you can see the knife a little bit better. Right now I'm rocking the uh, WCNK. Alright, I have my knife on my belt right there. The haversack hooks back behind it. That when I lean over, it doesn't want to automatically take off and come to the front because the knife hooks it. Okay. That's the way I carry it. I've made this strap adjustable so that in the winter, whenever I'm wearing bigger clothes, I can let this strap out, okay? Now, now we're going to adjust the camera. We're going to put it down on the deck. We're going to go through contents. Okay. Now, in the main body of the bag, at this time, I am carrying my little bitty mesh hammock in the bag. You've seen this in other videos of mine. I prefer to carry a mesh hammock because it's got so many uses, both as a net, as a cargo carrier, as something to get me up off the ground as a quick chair, and also I can use it as a gill net for catching fish. Lots and lots of uses on one of these mesh hammocks. You've seen these in lots of my videos. I put it in a simple old quick grab bag so I know what it is. Okay. I'm carrying my Mora knife in here. Now, this was my first really good bushcraft knife that I got back about 2009, 2010, something like that. And I really enjoy this knife. But since I went to rocking these WC knives, it doesn't get a lot of use. So I'm going to put it for my haversite to be the backup blade in there and do certain crafts and stuff with it. Just because I like the knife. Okay, my fire kit. Now, what this fire kit is is a stitchgear.com's tender bag and all I've done is I've adjusted the cord lock a little bit to to do to to like that so it gives me a longer cord to work with there we go now in here I'm carrying there is a small tender box this is from back in my buckskinning days it's full of dry shavings and some wax coated jute rope and a couple of little bit of candles and there's a hunk of fat lighter up under this edge also in here is a packet with those pre-made fire starters like you buy so you just crack them and then set them on fire guaranteed flame also have a barbecue igniter in here guaranteed flame now both of these work when they're wet that's the reason they're in there this is dry tender for use where I can make it ignite with either spark or I can make it ignite with a lighter. These will ignite with either or with a lighter or with a spark and will work so even wet. I can just shake them off and they'll work fine. I carry two mini big lighters in there. I already have a big fire rod on my knife that's going to be on me. So I don't need this in here. And I have a backup fire rod inside of the... Um, haversack so I don't need it there this is just a wax leather pouch it's called the large tender bag by stitchgear.com and I wanted it to be a smaller version of the larger tender bundle that I've been carrying 
I love this big tender bundle by Stitch Gear, and it's gonna ride in the knapsack. I want that for then. This will be the smaller version to me. So fold that up, stick it in there, put that down in the bottom, just like that. Now take and pull it up real tight. These edges fold up nice and tight right there. And then roll it around here, just like that. Take the cord, pull it around blood tight. Do a couple of loops underneath. And voila, a fire kit. I have hooked on a lanyard to that loop we talked about, a backup standard type of ferro rod. I have a bandana in here, 10,001 uses. I picked orange, so it's a signaling device and etc. all right there. Also have in here about 30 feet of bank line that I went ahead and made it into a donut. For those of you that don't understand these donuts, you unhook this edge and pull it and it'll just unravel. You don't ever have a tangled up wad, you just and it'll unroll. I do this with paracord, I do this with the bank line. I will be adding one just like this of paracord to this kit. Okay? Now that's what I got in there right now. Oh, but I can hear it. Blackie, wait a minute, hold it, you're not carrying. That is true. That is true. At the moment, what I'm carrying is a absolute base nothing. This is a bare minimum. Now, Put my knife in that corner so it stands up. Fire kit in the bottom. In goes my haversack. In goes my fire rod. Now, let's turn around and let's look at this lid that I created. I grab and unzip it. In here is an emergency space blanket, which will be used predominantly as a sun reflector down here over the top of the tarp if I have to be out in the bare sunlight. I have a Sil nylon poncho, full size army type poncho, but it's sil nylon. I have a complete ridge line set, complete with my quick grab, quick hook tarp, and I also have uh, lines for making guidelines to put it out as a square flat tarp over a hammock. That's all that's in there at the moment. Goes in there nice and flat. Just like that. Now, what I don't have in there, I don't have duct tape. I'm gonna be adding duct tape. I don't have a first aid kit. I'll be adding a first aid kit. Uh, someone said about adding a Baco saw. Yes, this will trade in and out. Suppose I want to trade this in and trade out the Mora, because I already got multiple bl blades with me. If I just carry the Baco, because I'm going to be using something that I'm thinking I'm going to need to do some cutting. Therefore, I already have on my Swiss Army knife a saw blade that I can notch with for notches. Anything else, I'm just going to break or bust. Now, out of my big haversack kit, rucksack, few things I want to pull out of here to add to this kit. I want to add my Wazo sharpening stone into my haversack kit. This is perfect for honing, keeping my knife edge touched up. I have a actual sharpening set in here. I have complete sets in this, but this rides in my haversack, I mean my rucksack. Bug spray needs to be in there. Compass needs to be in there. So I got a compass, I got bug spray, got a thing of duct tape. First aid kit. All that is, is a series of fresh band-aids and, and a couple of big uh, bandages stuck in there. That's it. Now, 
The rest of this is cordage. One of those donuts goes in there. And I think that's about it that I'm going to take out of here. I should add a whistle to this. But at the moment, no. You know, thinking about it, this might be a better thing to add. Out of my original kit, I got a whistle. I got a hone. I got a lighter with duct tape and sewing thread. And I got a little button compass. That would be better to add. So there goes my compass. Keep that sharpening steel. That duct tape in because I got to supply duct tape right there. And that's it. So, with all that gear in it, maybe four pounds. I really don't think it's much above that. And that's all I need right there in a haversack. Yes, there are other capabilities. My water and my cook set will be on my hip. My knife will be over here. My big cutting tool is usually a kukri will be riding on my hip, etc. This is not the everything in one package. This is merely a addition to the package. See, I want to spread this load out over me because everybody says, well, what if you lose? And I got to lose a lot of stuff because there's a lot of stuff strapped to me in different places. And that's the whole purpose. You need to have everything set up so that you have the best possible chance of having what you need when you need it. Okay, till next time, guys. I'm Blackie, wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.